we want to talk about some warm-up jujitsu movements that are going to be essential for today's success. But before we do our warm-ups, we want to teach you one technique that we're going to use throughout the entire course and for the rest of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, how to stand up in base, right? Let's imagine that I'm standing over Hidon in an altercation situation. Hidon's sitting down and someone approaches him in a situation that he doesn't know what this person's intentions are. He doesn't know who they are, where they're from, but they, they encroach on his personal space, right? In this situation, Hidon might just try to stand up to address the situation. And if that happens, he's very vulnerable to get pushed back down or struck in the process. So instead, watch what Hidon does on the way up. Check this out. And he's in base on the way up. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes in an altercation, just getting to your feet is an essential detail and skill. And to do that in a way that has base is very important. So let's watch what Hidon does. Check this out. So both knees kind of up like this, kind of hugging my hands, holding my hands. I'm going to fold one leg underneath and put both hands on the ground to the side of the knee that is down. Now you can start by picking up your hips and then put them back down. Hips up and back down. Now I'm going to rock my head forward as my knee and my hips lift up. My knee goes outside my elbow and then my hands are the last thing to leave the ground. So now we stand up and we have what we call base. And you see why that's so important because if you don't do that, if you just stand up any old way, look how tippable you are or look how off balance you can be right here. So the idea is we want to build this structure hands down. And the key to remember is you always want to put your hands down on the side of the leg that is flat or that is tucked the way he don't has here and not to have your foot or hand too far out from each other but to have them relatively comfortably close you can do it with one hand on the ground you can do it with both hands on the ground but the key is that your hands stay firmly planted until your leg arrives at its destination so that you're stable and you're strong look at the structure so that if the attacker in that situation tries to push or off balance you as you get up you don't fall back to the ground you actually get to your feet where you can fight back defend yourself or of course escape to safety so one more time for he don't hear his hands go down He's stepping his bottom leg outside his back elbow, and he's up. One common mistake, he don't let's show him how that knee gets trapped sometimes on the inside. Watch the knee there. Sometimes because people want to keep their heads up and their hips low, the knee, the hips don't lift enough, so the knee gets caught between the arms, and therefore we don't land in that solid base. So hips up, head down, legs and And the reason why this base works, ladies and gentlemen, is because he don't is perpendicular to me when he stands up. So his stance, if you draw a line between his feet and you draw a line between my feet, they create perpendicular angles. So he's stable and he's strong. If he don't sit back down, please. And let's say the exact same technique we're done, but your feet were facing that way and your hands on the ground right here. Freeze. As he gets up, let's look at this. Look at his feet now. See the nature of because of how he stood up, our feet are parallel, so he's more tippable or off balance in the back direction. So if you come back, the key is always make sure your front leg, the posted leg, is facing the incoming subject or opposing force so that you have that perpendicular base once you get up. So if the person approaches from this angle, he don't hear. If I approach from this angle, he's here. And whenever he's ready, he goes ahead and stands up, solid base, and we're up. So we're gonna be using this a lot. One interesting thing to keep in mind is that we, mentioned that we were taught this as kids. And this is something that our father always reminded us to do. But the truth is, when we learned how to walk, right. when you're 10 months old, 12 months old, and you're first learning how to walk, if you notice babies, they don't, Infants. Get, they don't get up like this. Infants don't get up like this. Instead, they put their hands on the ground and then they roll up into base as they find their balance. So this is natural. And now we're just bringing it back. So at one point, a long time ago, all of you were jujitsu masters. You just lost it along the way when you became coordinated enough to do this. Mm -hmm. But now you're incredibly tippable in the process. So our goal is to bring back your the roots of your base. It's so important because, like I said, if you go to the ground and you have to get back up, you have to do it in base. So we're going to reference this throughout many lessons. And like we said, long after our time together, we want you to have base in your life so that if worst case scenario happens, and you were to end up on the ground, you get back up strongly and successfully. So every time you stand up from this point forward, get up in base.